Thank you for choosing the Thermatru Retractable Screen Door. This tutorial will demonstrate how to install the retractable screen door on a double hinged or French in-swing configuration. Before we begin, make sure your retractable screen door is the correct size to fit your opening. This chart can also be found in the instructions that came with your retractable screen door. Because the screen door assembly mounts to the outside of the home, Retractable screen doors are not recommended for outswing entry door units. For this tutorial, the left door is the active door, meaning the side that has the lock, and the right door with the astragal and slide bolts is the passive door. For this project, you'll need safety glasses, a screw gun, a 3 32nd inch drill bit, a number two drill bit driver or screwdriver, a tape measure, a cock gun and caulk. Thermatrue recommends OSI Quad Max, and for doors less than 68 inches wide, you'll also need a hacksaw. In addition, Thermatru recommends having another person with you to help with this installation. Next, make sure you have all the parts that come with the kit. There should be latch screen housing, latch hook screen housing, two tracks, one for the top and one for the bottom, a sill plate and extenders, and four one and a quarter inch housing screw pack. Your pack will also include a spare screw. The retractable screen door is designed to fit door openings between 68 and 73 inches wide. If your door opening measures less than 68 inches wide, you will need to shorten the top and bottom tracks. For example, if your door opening is 66 inches wide, subtract this width from the minimum standard width of 68 inches. This leaves a total of 2 inches. Now, add 1 and 7 8 inches to calculate the total amount to be cut, which would be 3 and 7 8 inches. Use your hacksaw to cut the calculated amount from one end of each track, creating a straight cut. Now we'll assemble the components. You may want to place the housing face down on a soft surface during this process to help protect the finish. Begin by determining your assembly configuration. Determine the active side to have the lock. This is the most commonly used door. The passive side will have the astragal attached to it and have the slide bolts. In our example here, the left side door is the active side. This will become the latch housing side. Remove all the tape and packaging materials, except the foam blocks that prevent the screen from recoiling. If your opening falls within the standard range of 68 to 73 inches wide, insert one end of each track into the top and bottom end caps of the latch screen housing. To insert the screen track into the latch screen housing, push the foam block up. With the notch toward the front, insert the track and move it all the way to the corner. Make sure the screen and slider bar end caps thread through the tracks and snap into place. If the opening is less than 68 inches wide and you've shortened the top and bottom tracks, then insert the original uncut ends of each track into the end cap of the latch housing. Now slide the sill plate assembly onto the bottom track. Do not deploy the screen until it is assembled to the doorway. Insert the other end of the tracks into the latch hook housing. If needed, you can adjust the height of the slide bolt using the innermost screw shown here. Final adjustments will be made later. Now push the housings together so the width of the screen frame is at its narrowest. Place the screen assembly onto the door sill and then extend the housings evenly to both sides until both flanges are snug to the edges of the brick mold or exterior trim. This will require two people. Make sure the bottom of the assembly is placed on the aluminum portion of the sill and the top is resting against the exterior trim. Now mark and pre-drill holes for the four screws. Then starting from the top down, insert one screw into each of the four pre-drilled holes in both screen housing flanges to hold the frame in place. Do this while another person is holding the other side. Be sure not to over-tighten the screws. Next, center the sill plate assembly onto the door sill. Then slide the sill plate extenders to each side to fill any gaps. For a tailored look, use a scissors to trim each sill plate extender to fit the profile of the door frame. Now deploy the slider bar with the latch hook until it reaches the middle of the track. Mark the position of the slide bolts on the sill plate and top molding. If needed, you can adjust the slide bolt positions using this screw. Release the slider bar and drill one quarter inch holes into the screen sill plate in the top molding. Do not drill holes into the house sill. Deploy the slider bar with latch hook to the middle of the track. Drop the slide bolts into the top and bottom holes. Now retract the slider bolts and lift the screen sill plate and apply a 10 inch bead of caulk on each end of the aluminum sill. 
and another 10 inch bead of caulk in the center of the aluminum sill. Be careful not to get any caulk on the sill plate extenders. Put the screen sill plate down and press to ensure it adheres. If there's any excess caulk visible, wipe it away. Deploy the slider bar with the latch receiver until it reaches the middle of the track and latches onto the latch hook. The latch hook comes pre-installed and will face either up or down depending on the orientation in which you're installing the screen housing. You can adjust whether you push up or down to operate the screen. To adjust this, remove the two screws that hold the latch hook. Turn the latch hook in the opposite direction. Then reinstall the screws and adjust the latch hook as needed. Make sure the latch receiver and latch hook are properly aligned and latched together. The handle lock assembly will face the inside of the home when installed. On the interior handle, you'll find a handle lock. This mechanism pivots to lock and unlock the handle. When the screen is pulled across the opening and the handle is in the locked position, the screen cannot be unlatched and opened. Your retractable screen door installation is now complete, so you can enjoy fresh air for years to come.